Hey guys, Robin here, and today we are going to show you something really cool, a brand new base machine. Okay, so right here, just a normal, it's just some normal boxes, but we're going to make these base three. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the numbers into the boxes so they don't get in our way, but you'll know what they are. Okay, so, but here's where it gets a little weird. This is not a normal one-dimensional um, machine where it just goes one direction to the left and to the right. This is going to be one that it has two dimensions, up and down also. So where the one that goes left to right is a three to one, a base three machine, the one that goes up and down is gonna be a base two machine with the normal values, one, two, four, and eight, and so on, 16. So now we're gonna try an example of this. So here we have five, we have five dots, right? So we can use both rules when we have it set up this way. That's what's so cool about this. Let's start with the three to one. We can take three of them and then move them over to the threes box, and then you have one. But we can also use the other rule, the two to one rule, and move it up to there. And now we have a five, because we have a one in the threes and a one in the twos. But this gets a little cooler. Here's what else we can do with this. We can add more boxes. So this looks really complicated, but it's not. Because let's start with this column. This column looks like their numbers are totally unrelated, but it's actually base two. See, we have a three, and three times two is six. Six times two is 12, and 12 times two is 24. And the same with this, only it's base three, because that's the way the three is going in that arrow. Two times three is six, six times three is 18, and 18 times three is, 40, is 55, is 54. But this gets even cooler. We can add way more boxes than that. But before we do that, we're going to look at this one. This one gets a little hard to find when after all this happens. So we're going to quickly highlight it in green there so you know where it is. This is where your dots will start. They always start with the one when it's one dimensional, when it's two dimensional. All the time it'll start in one. Now we're going to add a bunch more boxes. So, at first, this looks really complicated, but the ones in red are the ones that are less than one, and the ones in white are the ones that are more than one. So, um, basically, what this, why this is so cool is that you can do this in any direction. You put the dots in the ones box, and then you can put it in basically any direction. But we'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, we also have this orange line, which separates the more than ones from the less than ones. Anyway. I'm going to send it to Goldfish to tell you more. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Alright, so, we're going to make a random pattern on that equals 10. So, let's get into it. Alright, so this is this two ones. Oh my can do it. So this equals ten. Can you divide it by five? Can we divide it by five? Yeah. Yes. Yes we can. Because five is very similar. You know why? Dumb. You know why? Because the code to five, one of the codes to five. We can do an overlay with a pattern of five. Let's do an overlay. Just leave it there. I'm just saying that we can put an overlay on the camera. So some people might not know where to put the dot. Yeah, yeah. we can explain that. So since this is right here, a code. It's positioned to the one. It always goes into the one box for this. Now, if we have the same pattern right here, the one box of a pattern would be right here, even though that's not the one box. That's where we're gonna put it because it was with the five. That's where it was. 
So, so that's 10 divided by 5 is 2. Yeah. Now do a harder one. Do 7 divided by 5. 7 divided by 5. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now, we're going to make a 7 pattern. So let's start with this. A 2 to 1, after a 3 to 1, and then another 2 to 1. And one last two of one. Okay, we've got it. Now, is that the only way to write seven? No, not at all. There are tons of ways to write it. In fact, there are multiple uh, ways. Would you believe me if I said there are multiple ways to write one without being able to do any more explosions? Yes, I believe you. You want to show us another way to write one? Yes, actually. So let's unexplode it. And explode it again. And explode it again. Now why don't you do a three goes to one? No, I, I'm not. I, but I mean, do you not see what I'm doing? I don't know what you're doing. All right, so let's do another two. Uh, on explosions and one more and now we can do two explosions going this way and an explosion going this way and we have it so we have one fourth and three fourths which yes. definitely is one there are multiple ways to write one okay so can we now divide seven by and we can't do any more explosions which absolutely blew my mind when I thought that up the first time. Yeah. Could you do um divide seven by five now? Wait, I want to say one more thing. And the whole, there's this. This is the way to write it. Yeah. And there's also. Um, Can you write it as an infinite decimal expansion? There's also this. It's amazing. Oh yes, I could easily. That's pretty easy actually. So, an explosion. Um, what you wanted me to do when I, I um, when you wanted me to explode these three, that would have caused a uh, infinite decimal expansion right here. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Well, how about this? But we could make it because, as you can see, we've transformed one here into this, and then we can transform this one into it, and then the next one, and the next one, and forever it will continue becoming. What if we go off this way? Here we go. Here's so one goes to explodes back into three, and then we're gonna go like that. And every time we have a dot here, we can actually do the same thing. I think. I want to do the upper dot. So that goes to three, and then it goes to one, right? And then we'll do the upper dot again. We're gonna move it over to three, and then one. And where do you think this goes? It looks like it goes off in a line. It's an infinite expansion. Yes. So it's one third plus two thirds plus four twenty sevenths plus eight eighty ones, and so on. So that's an infinite expansion. Wait, I could have just said that you were right. I was right. Every now and then, I'm right. With, with this one. I think you can make this. all kinds of infinite expansions with it. But you still, after you have this, you can still make another one. Yes, anything. It's actually not that hard to get yourself in an infinite expansion. Because the right. Should we try doing seven divided by five? And then we'll be done. Yes. So we have all seven. And we have all five. Now, we're looking for fives in seven. So let's do an explosion. That's the easiest thing to do first. And right off the bat, we have one. That wasn't that hard. And we have one right here. So, one with a remainder of two, but we can go fall and go into fractions. To what? 
Yeah, one with the remainder of two. And go into the decimals. The decimal point yes. is this purple line, as you can see right here. This is the decimal point. We need a name for that. What should we call it? Can I have some more sour blueberry? <laughs> um, what should we call that? The decimal. Can you call it decimal because it's. Oh, no, no. I don't know. It needs a name. You have to pick one. The line is decimality. No. <laughs> Now, what we're gonna do next is find ourselves another explosion. Now, first let's do an unexplosion right here. Also, look, I'm sorry, Vanilla Okay, we <laughs> That just happened. Now, let's unexplode another one. And we can explode this now. And here we have another one. Right off the bat, you're gonna be sent in the title. Actually, in the end, we can go across this with the red dots if we want to. Anyway. So let's make sure that adds up to seven. So you have something went wrong because. Oh no no, because these are divided by five. So I have one and one third times five. What's that? So one and one third. So we have six thirds four thirds and five. Six thirds and five. That's two and five, which is seven. Okay, thank you. You're welcome <laughs> for the quick math. Now Let's continue. Yes, that is seven. <laughs> <laughs> you had to write it out on paper. Sorry, I'm an old slow person. So let's do a an explosion. And an explosion. You have a five. Yeah, you got a pattern going there. And we get this. I think you got a pattern. I think it's just gonna keep going like this, right? So we have one plus one third plus one eighteen plus one oh eight plus whatever that is. That is uh, seven divided by five. All right, that's awesome. Let's end on that note. Drop the mic. So we're just starting to experiment with this machine. So there's a lot of things we're still figuring out. Um, you can kind of let your dots move throughout the whole plane, or you can try to squish them in to a line. And there's a lot of um, different bases that you can choose from here. So for instance, um, if you squish them all into this row of boxes, then you'll have your standard base three machine. Um, here in this vertical column, you have a base two machine. And then along the diagonals, you have a base six machine. And also along this diagonal, you have the three halves machine, the 1.5 weird machine. Um, but there's still lots of other options. If you wanted to, you could squish all your, uh, move all your dots into this line of boxes and then have a base 12 machine. And you could actually form um, a line of boxes going through one on from any of these boxes and then have uh, a base uh, based on whatever box you select. You can do other kind of strange things. If you wanted to, you could sort of squish all your dots, move them all into just about any line on the plane. And then you would have some sort of strange shifted base. So this is sort of the uh, weird machine, but shifted over where everything is divided by three. So each box is a power of the base and then divided by three. 
So we don't know what any of this means yet. We're still playing around with it. But if anybody has any thoughts or ideas they want to add on, we'd love to hear from you. And that's it. <laughs>